This is good. So these are called fenders. And basically you put them on the dock side of your boat when you launch and recover. I leave them on until the trailer is up in the parking lot and I'm loading up to leave. Check out the space between the guide bunk and the boat. The line we use to hold the boat when launching. I always put a clip on it like that, just a little carabiner. And hold it up here on the deck until we get there. So when I see the boat come off the trailer in the rear view mirror, um, basically I pull forward a little bit to try to clear the rope with the trailer. And it just makes it a little easier to retrieve the boat if you're not all tangled up on the trailer with the rope. So the guide bunks that you see sticking out of the water here, that's probably the recovery depth that you'd have them at to get the boat back on the trailer. Remember, I pulled the truck forward a little bit to keep the rope clean. Here, I'm going to just uh, put one loop around the cleat, run down to the other end, put another loop around that cleat, tie it to the boat, and the bumpers will do the rest. The boat will stay right there no matter what the weather. I always like to start my motor, um, the Mercury Pro XS150. It's, uh, it's a rocket, and I got nothing bad to say about it. It's a four stroke, starts just like a car. Well, it's time to recover this boat. So I'm gonna back down the ramp, put it in neutral right there, and let the trailer pull me. So we're gonna release the hounds and pull the boat out and do a bumper test or a fender test. You remember the fenders that I put front and aft on the boat. Um, what I'm gonna do is have the bow of this boat hit the dock. And there's the fender. Here's the hit. Hmm. Dock zero, fenders one. The next item on the agenda is line up this boat punch it onto the trailer and looks like we're in good shape so we'll go ahead and switch lines um, remember we have the blue line on there so we'll take it off and attach the black one so I crank the boat up to the roller and pull it out of the water and go check it and realize that the boat isn't on the trailer straight when I dunk it a second time it's still not on their screen. So we have a problem. Let's go to the big board. So I see that the factory trailer for my boat has a two inch gap on either side of the guide bunks. That's gonna be a problem. So we need to shorten that gap quite a bit. So I need a keel roller on that first crossbar and thicker guide bunks. Imagine recovering this boat in the wind or on a river. Uh, you'd never get it straight on the trailer. The day was about as calm as it gets and I still couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> 